All right, what is this Bridea transfer switch doing here? I, I know we got um, shore power on the left. We got our in inverter power from here on the right. And then you've got the outgoing loads, sorry, in the middle. And then you've got a battery sensor, I guess, hooked up to the bus bars on the right. Um, I didn't put this in, um, so I'm just wondering how this thing works. Like, does it automatically know when the battery gets low to switch to shore power if it's available? I think that's how it works, but I'd like to find out a little more. I haven't seen much about it. All right, long story short, we did get this figured out. We added a little 12 volt cutoff switch here. So right now we're on shore power. So it's gonna cut the battery power from that. So it just... To cut off power, it will automatically transfer over, uh, but without messing with all those settings, like all of the voltage settings, we just added it the simple switch. So then you can cut off from the inverter until you shore power. Not sure if you could do it the other way around. Like if you could go from using shore power and then hook your batteries up if the shore power went out. Like if you're at a campground and that went out of power, but I'm not sure how many people are going to use that feature. Like how many people are just sitting at campgrounds waiting for the power to go out and for their batteries to kick on. I think it's kind of the other way around. You want to be using your batteries, you know, most of the time when you can, when you're off grid. It would also work as a U, like a UPS unit in your house if you did lose power, it would automatically transfer over if you have a battery there ready to go, recognizing that it has 12 volts ready to go. So yeah, that's what we got. I think it's a good little unit if if you can use it with, you know, add a 12 volt switch with it. I think I'd rather have just a manual switch instead of this auto thing. So yeah, I think it's a good unit to use like that if you could just add a little 12 volt cutoff switch to it and then you can transfer from one source to the other. All right, so we got everything back together. And I'll link the longer video in the description here so you can check out the all the steps I used to, to do this. But that's it. Thanks for checking this out, guys.